Hello, Leon here from backintelligence.com where we help people fix their posture and manage their back pain from home. And today I wanted to talk to you about how you can uh, get out of a stiff, tight neck. So if, you're, if you have a lot of pain or tightness in your neck area right now or you can't even move your head side to side, this video is going to break down some of the ways you can start releasing and stretching those tight knots. So let's get started right away. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some range of motion uh, for your neck. So we're just going to do neck circles. That's just to get started and to warm up. Later on, we have some other things we want to do. But first, just do two circles on each side of uh, going to each side with your neck, OK? And you want to make sure that you go through each segment, OK? So instead of just kind of doing it like that, just go side, then bring it forward, look down, Look down at the floor, go to the other segment, really try to feel your neck going to the fullest range of motion that you possibly can, okay? And you want to do two circles on each side. So once you've done that side, go to the other one. Again, trying to go through each segment, not skipping any, any segment. So it's like you're trying to do it at the fullest range of motion that you can at this point, okay? And if you can't do a lot of range of motion, that's fine too. Just try your best uh, to make these full circles. Let's move on to the next thing. After you've done two circles to each side, we're going to go into what's called the self-myofascial release or self-massage uh, for simplicity. So what you're going to do is just take two fingers, place it in the base of your neck, kind of where neck and shoulder meets and try to find some tender, tight areas, okay? So, and what helps is to move your neck to the other side, away from that spot. So palpate with your fingers, and then once you find a tight spot, just hold it, apply pressure with it, and you want to hold it for about 30 to 60 seconds for that muscle not to release, okay? Once you've done that, go to another spot, okay? Again, palpate through, go up or down, and again, hold it there once you find that tight area. And that's how you get rid of uh, trigger points, or they're also called muscle knots that develop around your neck and shoulder area. Most of the time, we get trigger points in the upper trapezius or levator scapula muscle, which is right around that area, okay? So once you did that one side, you want to do it on the other side. So again, two fingers, try to find some tight area. Once you do, press down on it. Apply some pressure. To get it to release a little bit more, you want to look away from that area a little bit. So you're kind of stretching your neck away from that area as you're applying that pressure with your fingers. And again, you want to hold it for about 30 to 60 seconds for that muscle to release, and then go to the next spot. Again, find another area. Again, bring your neck away from there. That's going to increase uh, you know, the stretch so that you can really uh, apply the pressure in, in, into that neck really, really well. Once you've done that, we're ready for the 90-second uh, neck stretch routine. And I recommend that you follow this routine exactly the way I'm going to give it to you. It's made for a specific reason to be done in this way. Okay, so let's get started right away. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to place one arm on the opposite side of the neck. The other hand, just place it behind your uh, back and make sure you press the shoulder down, okay? You don't want the shoulder to go up because that's going to activate that upper trapezius muscle that, that we don't want. That's the muscle that's probably causing you pain in the first place. So make sure this shoulder is down, stretch your spine up, okay? And then again, place the arm behind you and now bring your ear to your shoulder, okay? So that's all you're doing It's just you're going straight down. And you want to hold this for 90 seconds. You want to feel the stretch right over here. This is the upper trap stretch. And then once you're done that, we're going to just change the angle of this. And you're going to bring your head slightly forward. So it's the same kind of area. OK, I'm still very much ear to my shoulder, but I bring my head forward slightly. Okay, I'm not changing the angle of the stretch. Again, bring this opposite shoulder down. And again, hold it for uh, another 30 seconds. And now we're going to change the angle of the head. So look down at your armpit. Sorry, <laughs> my equipment. And again, you're going to hold this one for 30 seconds. And you want to feel it now a little bit more in the back of the neck, going down to your shoulder blade on this one. OK, so once you've done that side, let's switch to the other side. Again, place that arm behind you. This one on the opposite side of the head. 
Bring it down, straight down to the side first. 30 seconds, hold on this one. Then tilt your head slightly forward. Again, 30 seconds on this spot. And now we're gonna change the angle and look down at our armpit or at our pocket. And again, press down with your hand slightly, apply some pressure for another 30 seconds. And you're gonna feel it right over here, yeah? So I know I'm going a little bit faster, but you wanna hold at each of these uh, spots for 30 seconds. And that's gonna be 90 seconds total per side. So again, one more time to review. This is 30 seconds here. 30 seconds bringing the head slightly forward. 30 second, seconds bringing the head down to look at your pocket. And that's how you want to do it. And I recommend whenever you get a stiff or tight neck that you go through the sequence that I laid out in this video. First, start with some neck circles to each side, two times to each side. Then do some self myofascial release with the fingers. Okay, if you don't, if, if this is too difficult with the fingers, there's other tools out there. You can get a massage ball and apply pressure with it, or you can use a Theracane uh, to apply pressure with that as well. Um, but if not, you can do the fingers. And then after that, go through this stretching routine, this 90 second stretching routine, uh, and that's gonna release more of that tightness and those trigger points. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and share it with a friend. Also, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more videos like this. Also, all of this neck pain and tightness is usually caused by poor posture. So we'd love to send you three exercises to start correcting your posture. These are step-by-step -step videos done by Dr. Oliver, who's a chiropractor. Uh, and we'd love to send them to you right away if you want those videos so that you can correct your posture. There's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here in the video, or there's gonna be a link in the description below. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me today and see you next time.